Okay, I'm just going to go through the single sheaf pulley, the big one that you're going to draw in Solid Edge. So I've just basically gone into view, turned on 2D model, turned off working model for a starter. Let's have a look at the hook. I'm just going to draw components first, then I'll fit them all together. So the hook, I'm going to just pick a random spot and I'm going to draw a circle that's diameter 70. So there's the 70 diameter that's on the internal hook. I'm going to now measure out 45 degrees off the center and I'm going to come down 16 mil as per the drawing. So there you go, so that's at 45 degrees and 16 mil. From there, I'm going to pitch out a circle, radius 82. Radius 82, diameter 164. Now looking up the top, I've got a radius 70 coming off this horizontally. Let me just pitch out a center line horizontally. Okay. Coming off here, I've got a radius 70 circle pitched off that. So let me now then just first up, I'll just mark in this radius 70, radius 70. And now I'm going to pitch in an arc just to keep it a little bit cleaner. An arc from there to about there. Done. Let me just remove this now or else it'll get very uncluttered and I'll also turn that into a solid line. Coming off the inside I pitch down 25 mil so we'll just offset come down 25 mil like so and coming off here I've got a radius 62 mil circle somewhere off that. I also know that inside diameter this one here was radius 35, diameter 70. So I'm going to start here. I've got 35 plus 62. So let's come over here and go 35 plus 62 equals there. That has to be the only spot where that circle can fit. So now we'll just pitch the arc in. From there, radius was 62. from there and I'll put it out here somewhere. Once again, I'll turn that into a solid line. Delete that and just zoom out. Now, of course, in here, we've got a radius six circle. Let's just offset this one by six mil out. I'm going to offset this by six mil as well out. Ah, look at that, there's the center of our circle. Let's draw in a solid line, radius 12. That there is a perfect tangent circle. Do that, do that. As you can see, it's a perfect tangent to there. It's a perfect tangent to there. Clean up as I'm going. So there's the tip of the crane hook. I'm going to leave that outside there at the moment and come back to it. Let's just put in a couple of centre marks. So there's the start of our crane hook. Let's just pitch up now a centre line pitched up from the centre of the hook. Straight vertical for a bit. And I'm going to work through the rest of it now. I know I've got coming out here 85 millimeters up, so from there, 85 mil up is there, and a 105 to the top while I'm drawing there. I'll draw this one as well. That one there is set back 45. I might as well just do as much as possible here while I'm at it. Okay, now we've got um, diameter 38. So that one there is obviously offset 19 mil from there and 38 mil across that way. And then if I measure that out, another 20. Here is the center of the um, 
other circles I need. So now I'm going to make a tangent circle. Let's think through what a tangent actually means. If I draw the straight line from that center mark to here, I'll just draw in both of those first. So that point of intersection there is where the two circles are tangential. So in here, I will just draw a normal circle now from there to there is the first one from here out to here is the second one so let's now clean up what we don't need just going to leave that like so I'll push this one back down again There's our crane hook. That's probably the hardest part of this drawing I've just done. Let's now delete that. I'm going to just delete everything that I don't need. And I'm just going to select everything there and turn it into a solid line. From here, let's finish off our drawing. We know that that one there marries up to that. I'll take the center line out. I can always put it back in if need be. And in here, let's just start putting in some circles by three points. Circle there, circle there, and out. And delete the parts I didn't want, which is that, and that. So there's that one drawn. I'll just come across here now. And once again, I'll just circle by three points one two three the original drawing was drawn in the days before CAD and dimensions were approximate then you would not have picked that up with a pencil the fact that those lines are misaligned by half a mil I'm more than comfortable with what I'm looking at there if I was going to make it different Obviously, instead of that being 20 out, it might be 19 mil out or thereabouts. I'm happy to leave it as it is. These dimensions, 20 mil, 38, they're imperial dimensions. That's three quarters of an inch and one and a half inches. So it's an old drawing I'd imagine that just got redone when metrication happened in 1972. Let's just extend that one across just to wrap it up. M38, what is an M38 thread? M38 coarse thread. M38, there's an M39 thread. 39 is 4 mil. So it's M38 is probably by 4 as well. So I'm just going to offset that as a single by 2 mil. 2 mil in there. Let me clean that up now before I do anything else. Offset that. Two mil. Offset that. Two mil. Remove that. Remove that. Delete. Delete. We'll just pitch this back at 30 degrees. Off. So there's minus 90, so it's minus 120. And over here, it's minus 60. Done. Now we've got to make this these lines faint. So let's just select them. When you go right to left in Solid Edge and also AutoCAD, you select everything the line cuts, which is what we're doing here with Solid Edge. So there's our crane hook drawn. Next one we've got to draw is item two, the nut. 